Hi, this is Rajat Kumar Shukla from Perpetual Learning. Today I am going to be present of a character circuit. This circuit is used before the dual active risk converter, before the DC to DC converter. And in this circuit, the input is a AC and the output is a DC. So there are so many documentation is available in online. Uh, different different uh, uh, companies like uh, from uh, like uh, uh, Infinon, like uh, Gain System, like Texas Instruments. And this is a, one of the uh, corporation that is a Gain System. Uh, I am using this documentation because I think this is a very documented for the PFC circuit. And companies like uh, Infinon, uh, they have also used a good explanation. Uh, for the PFC circuit and there are so many literatures also available you can go in the IEEE explorer and you can extract the, those papers so let's start for the PFC circuit uh, what is a totem pole PFC basically in the grid side I mean uh, suppose you are using for the mobile, for the electric vehicle charger so uh, in a smart grid application also use and there are so many applications so the principally actually uh, there are uh, suppose this is a grid here and in this grid in this grid this is the ac and the power is uh, coming is in the ac format right and you need to be uh, convert into the dc so the one picture is come here uh, that is the one circuit come here that is a rectifier Okay, rectifier you can use okay that's uh, this is a very nice circuit but the problem is the TSD total harmonic distortion and harmonic distortion is uh, very high in this circuit so it, this is always be uh, use this always be pure that uh, the power factor on the grid side we have to be maintained the power factor should be uh, possible near to one okay uh, not exactly one but near to one or if it is equal to one then it is uh, well wish it, it is well wishing the circuit it, it would it would be well wishing circuit okay so this is a required thing now uh, so how we will do it if if it is not rectified then how we will do it we we can convert AC to DC using of this PFC circuit so conventional PFC circuit based on the diode bridge circuit here where rectifier term is uh, where rectifier uh, uh, term here and this is the boost converter where this circuit when S1 is uh, on then inductance will charge the energy by, by that energy what, if, uh, what, what the time of the S1 is on and then if if s1 is off then s charge the energy in this period when l is l1 is discharging the circuit in this period the dc voltage also additionally will come dc voltage that means what whatever the voltage is here vdc okay this one so they uh, so we we can uh, achieve the output voltage in terms of output voltage vdc uh, uh, I, I mean in some some function of the uh, duty ratio okay here uh, one more important point we have to be kept here that is uh, this DC DC converter work in the discontinuous mode of operation okay so what is the uh, basic operation DCM this is not my intention to show here uh, but what is the recent PFC circuit we are using in the grid? Uh, so, so in the grid side, uh, that is my intention to show that. So basically, there there are also one more problem in this uh, conventional uh, PFC circuit. Uh, that is the losses, including here. I mean, in this rectifier circuit, because the diode uh, losses is high. Okay, and diode is a multi carrier devices. This is a power diode. So diode, you can use the silicon carbide diode, uh, but the losses is still there, which is uh, very high because uh, diode always be a minority carrier devices. So we can use a majority carrier devices like MOSFET we can use here. But uh, if 
we go there, I mean in that circuit, this one we can achieve. That means this is the another topology, this is the second topology which is a two-phase bridgeless PFC circuit. This D3 and D4 have some advantages also as well as have some disadvantages also. And we can uh, avoid uh, the, the diode minority carrier, I mean we can minimize that to minority carrier devices using of this uh, majority carrier device. These are ma main devices where S1 and S2 will be turned on, uh, sorry S1 will be main device and S2 is the line frequency device. and. Uh, different uh, I mean uh, the different operation involved here uh, from this circuit I mean this one from this conventional one okay so yeah so what is the drawback what is the drawback of this circuit what is drawback of this circuit that is a low power density and component utilization additional return diode D1 and D2 needs to be fast silicon carbide device but it is little, little bit costly so we are, uh, uh, this is better to avoid it and no bi-directional capability involved here, not here and not uh, in this one, okay, because uh, the diode is a unidirectional device, so power can flow only the AC to the DC, okay, it cannot be flow back the power, it can uh, here the same problem involved here. It cannot be uh, transfer the power from DC to the AC, so no no bidirectional capability. This is our uh, PFC. Uh, this is the bridgeless to total pole PFC. What gain system corporation, what Texas instrument, and what uh, Infinon uh, are using in recent era because uh, this has a lower the, this utilizes lower devices because as we see. Uh, as we saw uh, just before the, uh, just before topology where D1 and D2 is involved here so there are six devices involved and uh, it is also a capability of the uh, 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 power I mean uh, it has a bidirectional power capability also uh, like uh, because uh, uh, this PFC I mean so suppose I'm using that this device I mean S1 uh, uh, I mean uh, using MOSFET so MOSFET has a bi-directional capability also like uh, what the uh, body diode is using I mean I'm talking about this one and sorry for the drawing uh, this one so I'm talking about this diode this diode has a capability to um, reverse I mean uh, uh, reverse conduction I mean the third quadrant operation is involved here so what is the third quadrant operation basically the current and voltage is here if the power operation is here this this is called the first first quadrant operation if current is positive and voltage is positive this is involved the power, first quadrant operation if current is negative and voltage is negative this is involved the third quadrant operation okay so anyway how the operation will happen here let's see uh, see here in this one in, in this basic operation involved whenever the s2 because remember this s1 and this s2 is a main i mean high frequency uh, operation i'm um, involvement here and uh, this is the line frequency i mean what you suppose this is a 50 hertz operation then this devices s3 and s4 uh, will be switching in at the 50 hertz level okay and uh, this devices S1 and S2 will be turned on and, or turn off I mean switching at the high frequency let's say 100 kilohertz this is just assumption because uh, S1 and S2 is working on the hard switching usually here so uh, for the hard switching less than 100 kilos is okay Other, the scenario is will come when uh, suppose the positive half cycle is uh, coming here I mean at the grid side so this terminal, this terminal is negative and uh, this, uh, I mean, this uh, devices has turned on and this devices, let's say this has uh, some pre-charge because I'm, uh, I'm talking about the steady state condition. So CL uh, has pre-charged. So in this operation, uh, the power, I mean, uh, this, uh, this inductor will be charged. I mean, the but the situation is L1 will be charging case I mean like like a boost boost converter so L1 it is in charging mode and S2 will be turned on for a high frequency okay so for a high frequency as L1 will be charging till the 
uh, till the uh, d i mean capital d i mean s2 so when when it will be which which is a very small period of time i mean which is very small period of time when uh, l1 is charging by uh, this is i mean this is suppose ac signal ac voltage so this is small portion which is a which is looking as a dc because very small portion will be changed with respect to time in this period okay so l1 is charging period l1 is, is in charging mode so uh, after the in this situation who is the responsible component which uh, give the energy to load because this is a load so which which one will be give the energy so obviously this cl has pre-charged so this will be give the energy to the load in this duration now uh, their positive half cycle is still remains same there so therefore l1 whatever the energy stored in l1 will be discharged to the uh, uh, i mean this capacitor side okay and uh, during this period uh, the rl is still be uh, charging uh, rl is still be getting the energy from this one and this one okay and plus minus voltage obviously uh, it is uh, maintaining here still maintaining here and uh, yeah so what uh, plus minus is here and l1 is uh, releasing the energy to the uh, load side now this is in i mean so, so in this period we can say s2 will be switching turn on and turn off okay s2 will be switching turn on and turn off instead of s4 will be uh, usually turn on only turn on case okay in the positive half period in the negative half period, negative ac cycle this is minus this is plus so uh, this s3 will be turned on for this period i mean this negative cycle period this uh, this is the case when s3 will be on and this is the case when uh, s4 will be turned on okay in the positive half cycle and in the negative half cycle s3 will be turned on and s1 uh, again the same process of the high frequency link will be happen like as when s1 is will be turned on the what the energy is i mean and using of this negative half cycle uh, the energy will be uh, uh, i mean it will be stored the energy and whenever this device will be turned off then uh, the stored energy will be releasing by the will be releasing to the uh, this one i mean this load okay so again the same question here when the inductor is charging period is in charging period then who is the responsible component to give the energy to the load so obviously again cl will come into the play interaction what is the advantage of this circuit this question came here what is the advantage of this circuit so what is the advantage of this circuit the advantage is this uh, mosfet involved very less uh, less losses so this is uh, this can improve the efficiency this has a bidirectional power flow which my favorite point is bidirectional power flow it has a capability of the power bidirectional power flow and obviously it can uh, it can increase the power density and it can avoid the cost involved the uh, uh, cost involved the uh, devices okay so yeah here one more important point i can uh, i should uh, tell you that uh, that is no need to use here devices only you can use the diode on also i mean instead of the power mosfet i mean i'm talking i'm saying this uh, low frequency devices you can uh, uh, change by the this one i mean this uh, uh, power diode also because uh, uh, if you need the bidirectional capability then you should uh, use the mosfet otherwise uh, the diode is enough to be say for the forward uh, i mean power flow and it has a, a good advantage over the conventional topologies of the PFC. Uh, suppose, uh, actually, I have used a 240 volt uh, RMS uh, input current, uh, input voltage, and uh, I am using the 380 volt. I mean, this is my desired output voltage, and the uh, 3 kilowatt is still same. And I am using the 100 kilohertz operation in in my MATLAB simulation and 50 hertz line frequency okay so yeah so the control scheme so the in the, in the control scheme 
yeah one more one more important point the in what is the shape of the input inductor current the shape of the input inductor current is look in this in this format i mean uh, suppose uh, this is the ac input current ac input voltage and uh, the inductor current this small period what will happen the boost converter operation is happening so suppose in this period the boost converter operation the boost operation is happening so the inductor will be charging and discharging then again charging discharging charging discharging charging discharging and this will be happen till the what uh, next zero will be a uh, next zero crossing uh, ac voltage appear so the average of this uh, uh, average of this uh, current this uh, look uh is is here i mean the, in this shape in this uh, purely if you talk if you are talking about the power factor so power factor is approximately uh equal to one here you can see so the control arrangement i have used of the this uh, an xp semiconductor devices uh, format yeah this one so here uh, basically you are using yeah, basically you are using suppose this is a pfc converter circuit and uh, this uh, this is the ac input and uh, only the high frequency device need to be uh, i mean uh, switching in in a in such a way that output voltage should be maintained to the reference voltage okay so what i am using here i am try i am just uh, applying the dc reference value and i am getting the actual uh, dc reference value i am using the pi controller here and i am just multiplying the vac upon v reference square right so what is the control voltage is uh, coming here okay so like in this fashion what equation is showing here and uh, yeah in this one i mean what control voltage is here so i reference uh, i i am getting this reference value by this equation this is the actual input current this is the input current what is the current flowing through the inductor let's say this is a dc this is a grid and what is the current is uh, flowing here and the pi controller again i'm using and d duty ratio for the lower device for the lower device for the lower device i can use i mean i'm talking about this one this circuit let me show you Yeah, this one this has two devices i am able to get this uh, uh duty ratio what how i mean what time uh, this s2 will be turned on and what time this s1 will be turned on because s1 is a just a complementary device of the s2 so control loop of the pfc circuit should involve the two characteristic what is that the voltage outer loop i mean uh, what is the voltage outer loop i will show you uh, which uh, this voltage outer loop should be ensured uh, the output voltage following the reference constant voltage okay and the current inner loop should be ensured the input current following the current reference signal and this current reference signal uh, should be such as like what is the voltage what is a voltage 0 to pi here the, uh, in this in this uh, i mean corresponding this uh, the current i mean the input current should follow G, i mean positive only not be negative or not be negative otherwise the problem will come the power factor uh, not longer be equal to one okay circuit i mean uh, in this uh, simulation uh, diagram this is the ma main leg uh, s1 and s2 involved here and this uh, in this diagram line lag i mean the 50 hertz operation involved here so i have just avoided the the conventional mosfet in, uh, in conventional mosfet and i am using the uh, conventional power di diode here okay so yeah i am just uh, taking a voltage measurement here and this is the inductor i have used the 0.15 millihenry what is the capacitor i have used 25 micro henry and what is the resistance i have used load resistance that is a 22.22 ohm now to firing the duty uh, to firing the pulses i have used the control circuit arrangement 
so the voltage loop here basically this is the i input reference generator is a voltage control loop here where i am using the vdc reference 380 volt and what is a what i am getting the actual output voltage i am comparing it and i am just uh, proceeding the signal to the through the pi controller and uh, this i reference uh, equation i am using this is the input voltage and this is the rms input voltage rms input voltage i am using here uh, constant you can use the rms block of the simulation let me show you that what the specification i have used this is a let's see this is a 240 volt rms value okay and this is the function block where i have used the input voltage what is the time uh, what is the actual voltage is coming by divided by what is the rms voltage and the square okay and the i have multiplied it and i am comparing the actual inductor input current and i am just proceeding the pi controller which is called the current loop control and i have used the limited limiter because i know the uh, duty ratio can be varied from minus one to the plus one and this is a pwm generator this is the pwm generator one i hope this is visible now so this is a pwm generator and this is the switch one pulses is going on here uh, the pwm generator uh, uh, involved here the pwm generator i can use like in this manner suppose this the uh, i know this this uh, 0 to 1 i mean it can moves again it will moves so what is the uh, output of the pi controller i am using the suppose in this fashion so it, it it is obviously i have used a limiter so it can move 0 to 1 only so i have used a condition whenever this uh, value is uh, i mean uh, greater than 1 then output is 1 otherwise 0 okay and the frequency i mean uh, this is a very important point uh, the frequency of this uh, uh, limiting uh, sorry this of two generator should be should be i i mean uh, what is what uh, frequency you want uh, converter so i have used the 100 kilohertz so i have used the 100 kilohertz again and then again this will be positive pulse and zero and so on so 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 i have uh, i have used the l minimum uh, inductance value of uh, this equation where del i l maximum i have used the what the inductor current what the peak current is flowing through the indu input uh, inductor current uh, sorry through the input inductor that current uh, 50, uh, 35 percent i have used del i l maximum switching frequency obviously 100 kilohertz output voltage desired is a 380 uh, volt so i have used uh, that parameter if you see the DC voltage response, let me run on it. So it is uh, run, it is in running mode. So now it is uh, because I have set the 380 volt reference. So this response uh, is showing in this manner, and uh, there is some ripple. I have to uh, proper set the PI controller tuning because I have used the trial and error method for the PI controller tuning and this is uh, going to be 380 volt approximately and uh, this ripple is uh, 10 volt uh, variation have 10 volt variation this is uh, enough to be uh, show for this responses so yeah this one this is a 380 volt uh, i mean near to 380 volt and this is a 10 volt variation so yeah this is successfully uh, simulated here uh, i mean in the circuit uh, in the LT price if we see the responses of the output voltage and the input current and the input voltage so yeah this is this red signal is a input voltage this green signal is a uh, output voltage and this blue signal is a inductor current you can see that uh, here I mean the current uh, uh, through the inductor what is what is the responses is here so in this fashion this is charging now discharging charging discharging charging discharging in the uh, sinusoidal fashion you can see here i have set the 350 volt here sorry for this i should uh, maintain the 380 volt here 
but uh, uh, just for the simulation purpose i have used the 380 volt uh, vdc reference and uh, uh, yeah one more point there is uh, there is a uh, if you see the the average of this current then uh, it is uh, following the uh, sinus order you can because uh, if you just look here i mean uh, uh, in this session uh, this is showing uh, in a sinusoidal fashion okay so this the same the same will be happening with the positive and negative half cycle also and the again charging discharging fashion is happening for the negative half cycle it will take so much time so uh, it will take me so much time so um, yeah so i think uh, it's enough to be say that uh, this will take uh, uh, i mean a zero volt line uh, after that the same cycle will be uh, repeat for uh, for the next uh, I mean uh, for next operation and uh, we can say here uh, for this hysteresis band uh, band control uh, by the hysteresis band control we have achieved the sinusoidal current response and we have achieved the proper operation for the uh, power factor character circuit and we have simulated the same device uh, simulated the same operation in uh, MATLAB Simulink and uh, we uh, we have proved the PI control also uh, one of the good candidate to showing and so here the uh, next cycle is happening I think it's uh, it is enough to be enough to be sure okay so yeah so if you if you have any comment uh, if you have any doubt any suggestion you can send us by, by mail by, uh, and you can comment on it and uh, send your message uh, in the in in this mail IDs. It's better if you use the below better a uh, below mail ID, and otherwise you can uh, join us uh, using the Telegram. Thank you.